Here's the kata breakdown or teaching video for bow one. Now I've already referenced a whole lot of these movements before when we were talking about uh, front stances. When we were doing the front stance lesson, we talked about push, post, or pivot, essential for this kata, which is why I think as a beginner form, this teaches you so many of the things that you'll need for later on. Um, this kata is really two different things. We have our side movements and we have our forward movements or backward movements. Everything that we do to the side is similar, it actually just repeats. It's all based on a reverse punch position. Now I will say, when you go to do that, most important part, opening that stance. You have front stance to front stance, pivoting, strike and make my uh, punch towards the uh, direction that I'm going. The bow draws all the way back and thrusts. I pull back to my side and push out. Now a lot of things that we see here and constantly correct. First of all, the stance, I already mentioned that, so I'm not gonna go over that anymore, but when I make that step and I've made my punch, everybody likes to go and make it really fast. So you're trying to go and get that strike and it just turns into a big sloppy mess. Take your time, make your punch, pull it all the way back, make your thrust, draw it all the way back, there's your double block from here, both hands pushing out together. So if you think of it in terms of a three count, that hopefully will slow you down one, two, three. If that does not work, five count. That's going to make every single move in there count. Once I make my step, one is my strike, two I draw back to, uh, from my thrust, but three is the thrust this time, four I pull back, and then five sinking and pushing out. Take it five steps. If you're going slow, that's what we want to see. That's where we want to see that you're learning not to see who can do it the fastest. So now let me do that opening part. I start off with my bow. I'm going to start by going to the right rather than the left. In most of my forms, I go to the left first. I step up, strike, thrust, draw back, and strike. For the pivot to the other side, I'm going to flip my top hand first. Feet come together, open up that stance, punch across for one, draw back for two, out for three, four draw back, and five pushes up. Okay, now that's going to be the end and the beginning. So the start, like I said, the kata breaks into two parts. So I'll go through the whole piece again, but that side to side is the ending as well as the beginning. Now for the other part, it's all based on low block, high block, and hook punches. Now you notice when we did these straight and punch before, the hands were opposite. One hand was up, one hand was down. And that is always the case, at least in bow one, when we do straight punches. It's also pretty typical with our other forms. Hook punches, however, a little bit closer to the body. You'll notice the difference in where my arms are on the bow and the extension of the bow. If you're doing a hook punch out here, taking away the bow, it's not a hook punch. Hook punch should be closer to the body. So as I strike across, there's my hook punch. This arm is curved, other hand is chambered to my side. So the low block position comes from the body, comes from the chest, there's my hook. So if you see it from the side, I don't want to drop the bow and then lift the bow. I want to push out, pull in, push out, draw back, there's my hook. So the way this works in the form, I've gone from my cat stance, finished up my last move, I'm going to pivot cat stance to cat stance, that's going to allow me to load up my back leg. A lot of people step back here. It's not correct. It's not necessarily bad. It's just not correct for the form. This foot's in the cat stance. As long as I've made the left to right pivot, I should be able to push forward low, high, hook punch. My second one is that posting position. Draw that foot back. Low, high, hook punch. I step back for hook and I step forward for one, step forward, and two. And then we go to the ending part, which again I'll demonstrate in a moment. One more thing about the hook is the, the straight punches are always reverse punches in this form. In bow one, they're always, hook punches are always with the front side. So if you catch yourself doing it this way, you know you did something wrong. It's either going to be your foot or your hand that's in the wrong position. So pay attention to how you're stepping. When you do your low block, high block, front hand, Front hook. What makes this my front hand? That's my front leg. Right, right. One, two, three. I step all the way back. One, two, and three. All right, I come back. Now, 
whole thing together. I bow, I'm going to my right. I'm turning, punch, thrust, draw back, push up. Pivot, open, punch, thrust, draw back, push up. Pivot, hand flips. Now my hands are facing what I call piano position. My fingers are on top. I step forward into our next front stance. Low block, high block, hook punch. Stepping back, posting into a nice front stance again. Low block, hook punch, making sure it's with my front hand. Step back and hook. And now one full step, hook. Two full steps, hook. I go to the ending, looks like the beginning. Punch, draw, thrust, pull, push. Across. Open the stance, punch, draw, out, pull, and there's my strike. From there, I'm going to drop the bow down, lower down, lift up. Now notice on this last part, this hand is palm up, this hand is palm down. My feet are together, so how am I getting stability and power? Sinking. Drop, push up, and because my hands one up, one down, in what I call guitar position, replicating the way you play guitar, then from there, I just roll the bow, I don't have to flip my hand again. So one more time, one, two, and then back to that position. So that is bow one, that is our breakdown video uh, and for teaching. So be aware that I'm turning to my right at the beginning, so I can't really replicate that or mirror this kata perfectly, uh, but I want you to try to work on that part and see if you can make sure when you send in your own video, you pivot or step to the right when you start off. Enjoy working on bow one.